People who clean up after festivals. What have you found? EDM festival 4 years ago. Two phones. A few wallets. Used and unused condoms. Little baggies. Not all empty. Lewits of sunglasses. Address. It's so good. Rawskilla festival in 1998 and 1999. We found some marijuana. Quite a lot of money. Something like $100 and the first year we swiped some rather expensive lightweight tents that were left behind. Which we cleaned and used for years afterwards. A few nice sleeping packs. 2. Glad you weren't talking about finding abandoned tents at Rawskilla in 2000. Samurai Sword. Can't imagine how they got it past security or how they didn't get bounced once they were inside. Nobody ever came back to claim it either. There can be only one. And it wasn't him. A baby bird. It was a robin in a cowboy hat. Took it to my dad who hand fed it and raised it till it was big enough to release into the wild. Where did it even find a hat small enough? Shoot weed. A couple of euros and a trampled phone. Oh. And a gazillion cheap sunglasses and for some reason straw hats were a huge thing at the time as well. Shoot weed so. Poor quality weed? Or is there a missing comma? I volunteered to clean up after a local festival and we got a locally famous rich family show up. They left a purse with 350 pounds cash inside and as their name was on the inside. We phoned them up to collect it. They told us they couldn't be bothered to come get it and we could keep it. The four of us working kept a tenner each then gave the rest to a local homeless shelter. Ended up getting paid for a volunteering job. What are you guys? Lots and lots of cash. Drugs. Condoms. Nothing too unusual actually. I was on the breakdown crew for Cirque du Soleil. We'd usually find a couple hundred Singapore dollars in spare change under the bleachers. Rawskiller Festival 2017. Loads upon loads of drugs. It was turned into the police. Mostly, expensive ass tents that easily went for $300 once cleaned. Lots of phones. Wallets and some loose cash. A cat? Comma. It did have a microchip and was returned to the owner. Two tortoises. Adopted by a volunteer who already had a bunch of them at home. A 14 inches double ended dildo. STD molotovs. A. K. I used condoms. High grade chemical gloves were a must. STD Molotovs is the best name for used condoms I've ever heard. Drugs. Money. Clothes. Bottles of booze. I used to give massive raves and I always stayed for the clean up after. So worth it. A body. Not me. But a friend of a friend found them in their tent. A friend of mine found the body of someone who had died of an overdose in her tent at Fisher's Coventry Festival. She did not know the guy just luck of the draw I guess. Country Music Festival. Found two men a pairs of panties. Lots of flip flops EWW. Men a pairs of sunglasses. Including some sweet aviators. Lots of cannabis. Legal in Canada. And almost as much cocaine. Condoms both in and out of packages. Probably most disturbing was a single baby shoe. Post festival cleanups are always very much a lose faith in humanity sort of experience. Edit. I find the flip flops gross because it was an outdoors festival on a rainy weekend. So anyone who lost their footwear was walking in ankle deep mud at a place where panties and cocaine were discarded. Unless they ended up removing their panties then grinding their hoo-hoo's into the mud they were probably better off. So panties don't get a reaction but flips flops gets your grossed out. A whole raw chicken. And a baseball cap full of soiled feminine napkins. Shoreline Amphitheater. 1989-90. Caught a guy digging up his stash of drugs whilst doing security at Creamfields a few years ago. The security guard confiscated drugs and then buried them for later. Did he share with you? I used to help run a music venue. Cleaning and tearing down after the shows was usually the best because that meant finding items to put in the lost and found. One for the backstage four items left over by bands and one behind the ticket counter for the crowds. We usually gave the items one month to be claimed. Posting about them on social media. Before we could claim them for ourselves. The biggest or most expensive item left behind that no one ever claimed was our entire drum set. It wasn't uncommon for bands to not come back for their stuff since they usually lived too far away. Damn. How do you misplace an entire drum kit? These things are expensive and not exactly small. Couple of bills and watch. It wasn't bad. Some of the weirdest stuff we have found were panties and broken condoms usually due to filling air in it. I imagine they'd be good for nitrous oxide. 
Back in the 90s there was a rock fest that was nicknamed Mudfest due to the heavy rains turning the entire area into a mud pit. Someone asked about Lost and Found, and the radio station said that for the first time in Rockfest history there was nothing in the Lost and Found, because anything left behind was under a food to mud by closing time, jewelry, sunglasses and weed depending on the festival. Sumena Putents, what's the resale potential? An added thought, I have been part of the teardown for a number of 1030k festivals in Germany, I don't do that kind of work anymore. But I assume this hasn't changed. It's quite common when you show up for the tearing down at 8 o'clock a.m. When shifts mostly start, that there is already a number of less fortunate people rummaging through what was left behind. So the really good stuff usually goes to the early risers. Two camping chairs. One that I still use regularly from tea in the park. Some money and randomly an unopened bottle of Jura whiskey. Sunglasses. So many tents and sleeping bags left abandoned though. 